And to unpack the latest downgrade, I'm now joined uh, by trade and investor Simon Brown from Just One Lap. Thank you, sir, for joining us. Happy New Year to you. And perhaps not a great way to start the year. The JC all share hits new record highs. And then here we have Fitch coming through and saying, well, we want to downgrade you. You're not looking that healthy. I think you're right. Not a great way to start the year. But I think we, we really saw it coming. We, we've seen the downgrades already from Moody's and Standard & Poor's. Fitch really just catching up with, with them in a sense, the third. And that they, they have been the sort of the, the late to the party over the last year or so. Uh, it's not great news, but our market seems to have ignored it. There was a bit of weakness in the currency, but I'm not sure that we can necessarily say that really was a direct result of the downgrade. And now it puts us in the company of countries such as uh, America and France. Who, uh, downgrades are common these days. The trick is we are a notch above junk. That, 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 is, that is the yeah, worrying exactly. aspect. Exactly. So junk status basically means that South Africa is just not a fantastic investment destination. Borrowing costs are going to increase dramatically. And I mentioned that the JSC All Share is hitting new all-time highs. So companies are still doing relatively well. The, perhaps the overall economy is not being viewed as a healthy investment environment. We're seeing this coming through with what happened in Marikana. We're worried about the farm worker strike, which is currently underway. What do you foresee into this year with all this drama occurring in the background? You make a good point there. JSC doing well. You also then mentioned Marikana. If we break the JSC into components, industrial stocks done brilliantly, your SAB, uh, Miller, your shop rights and the like, financials done fairly well, resource stocks had a really tough time of it. We've seen Billiton doing all right, we've seen Anglo doing all right, but the gold miners, we saw Harmony shut down a mine loss uh, because of the, the, the strike action and the like on Monday. We're going to see more of that coming through, and that is the concern. O overall, our economy, 2.5% growth, nice, it's growing, it's not nearly enough. Within that, their pocket's doing well. Of course, and we need around 7% growth to make a dent in this unemployment figure of 25%. Uh, the reality also needs to be told when it comes to the social issues that we're experiencing. We know that, um, you know, Fitch also said social instability, political instability. Those are the factors that actually made them want to downgrade South Africa. Um, a lot of the S&P, as an example, and Moody's both have a negative outlook on mm -hmm. SA, despite the fact that Fitch has a stable outlook. If things deteriorate further within the farm worker strike, even in the mine, on the mining front with labor unrest, this could spell doom and gloom for the rest of the year. Is this your, what you're anticipating? It could, but we need a lot of deterioration. Farm worker strikes is, is a big story and an important story, but that, that one catalyst isn't going to do it. If we read into the reports from all three of the rating agencies, what are they talking about? The general unemployment issues, the general lack of growth, the concerns uh, around, around government and the like. You know, a couple of people thought that Sora Mopoza coming in as deputy president of the ANC would be the silver bullet. But no one thing is going to drive it. It's that, 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 that bigger picture, that longer track. So in essence, if, if we kind of muddle along as we're doing now, we're going to stay where we are. If things deteriorate markedly, and, and that would have to be more likely at a, at a national government level or at a global financial level, things could get suddenly so, worse. You mentioned Cyril Ramaphosa, new ANC deputy president. Are you feeling optimistic as an investor, someone who perhaps understands the business world? I, I don't think there's a lack of understanding in business in, in, within the broader ANC and within the any and cabinet, we've had people like Trevor, Gaw uh, sorry, Trevor Manuel, Praveen Gordon. We've certainly had business people there. I, I think he certainly brings new, fresh blood into it. Uh, he certainly comes from the worker space. Remember, he was National Union of Mine Workers, Kasatu, way back in the day, back in the 80s. Of course, 20 years later, he's moved markedly to the other side of, of, the, of the equation. I like him as an individual. I like him as a politician. I think it's great for fresh blood. But I don't think a political organization such as the ANC is going to pivot and change on one individual. What's important is, 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 is the, the plan they're working on, the, the, the National Pro Policy Development Plan from Trevor Manuel, the implementation of that. Key point about that, that was a 20 or 30 year plan. That, that's a very, very long term uh, and, and we, need some, we need some quicker fixes on the ground. Do you think that uh, Fitch, S&P and Reedies were right to downgrade us? Uh, and I ask this and I know that <laughs> they lost uh, a lot of their, um, yes, you I know, con people lost confidence in credit ratings agencies because of the financial crisis, but what is your view? I, I, I'm gonna to say I, I think they've I agree with you. They've lost a lot of credibility there behind the curve. Are they correct to put us on on on, on just above junk? I'm not 100 percent sure about that. A, a, a triple B is probably about right. Triple B minus that just above junk. I I, I don't think we're a, as a nation just above junk. In essence, if we say are we going to default? The answer is no. We're not anywhere near defaulting. Greece went into junk status, hasn't defaulted. Iceland's gone back to the market and raised money. I think we're sitting in economic situations that are better off than those economies. I don't think we. Should should be one notch above junk.
but I would say maybe only two notches. But, yeah, okay, well, the truth is for credit ratings agencies to make any move on your credit rating, they review it for months and months and months. And th there's got to be sustainable um, news coming through for them to say, well, you deserve an upgrade or you deserve an up, uh, a downgrade. What would you suspect that would perhaps change our fortunes when it comes to credit ratings into 2013, if anything at all? What would be that silver bullet <laughs> that you were talking about? I, I think it's a great question. And I, th I think there, there, there are two things. A much stronger track, uh, tackling of unemployment, less talk, more doing. We see a lot of talk. We saw numbers came out last year. One of the government agencies creating jobs at like millions of rands per job, etc. I think that needs to be challenged. Uh, and and the, the big issue at the moment is labor unrest, whether it be in the mines, whether it be on, 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 on the farms in the Western Cape, that needs to be tackled and resolved. And that's the legacy where I think everyone, union, uh, government and, and, and uh, st labor have all failed the, the workers. Thank you, sir, for joining us. Great to have you in the studio. Always Much appreciated. Mr. Brown, that was Simon Brown. He is the CEO of Just One Lap. And we're going to a short break and still ahead on ENCA. We check in to see how the JC All Share is faring at midday. And also the N3 at uh, Van Rienen's Pass remains closed in both directions. We'll bring you an update on that in just a moment. Don't go anywhere.